What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be revisiting tuning once again in Modern Warfare 2 because it did receive a buff, at least on some attachments, with the Season 2 update we got a few weeks ago. Now, unfortunately, we once again got a very vague description of this in the patch notes. They weren't specific as to which attachments changed or which tuning values changed. The only thing they mentioned in the patch notes regarding this is they've updated tuning sliders for numerous attachments. Also, they did allow on controller to tune with the D-pad now, which is a nice improvement. And then they mentioned that some beneficial tuning attribute magnitudes have been increased and some harmful tuning attribute magnitudes have been decreased. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. And unfortunately, the best I can do here is a spot check with attachments and tuning that I've already tested pre-patch. Unfortunately, since we still don't have access to advanced stats in the gunsmith, it's completely unreasonable for me to test every single gun and attachment and tuning combination in the game. There are thousands upon thousands of combinations of things that you can do with that, and that's just completely unreasonable. So the best I can do here is a spot check, and therefore I can't give you a comprehensive list of everything that changed, but let's just have a look at the things that I could test. Now the first thing I tested last time the tuning got buffed, was aim down sight speed on the VEL46 using a Commando foregrip. Pre-patch, with no tuning, our aim down sight time was 250 milliseconds. If we tuned away from aim down sight time fully, it was now 258 milliseconds. And if we tuned in the direction of aim down sight speed fully, we would get an aim down sight speed of 242 milliseconds. So it's actually pretty balanced positive and negative there. And post-patch, it turns out nothing has changed here. At least nothing measurable has changed here. And that's totally fine, but now let's look at the VEL46 with this combination of five attachments where I tuned all of these attachments either in the direction of aim down sight time or away from the aim down sight time value to see the min and maxes there. And as you can see, pre-patch before season two, when we tuned in the maximum direction of aim down sight speed on every single one of these attachments, we were only getting a 25 millisecond improvement overall. Whereas if we went in the opposite direction and we tuned everything away from aim down sight speed on all of these attachments, we would increase our aim down sight time by 125 milliseconds. So that's nowhere even remotely close to balance going from positive to negative there. And that's pretty crazy. But now let's have a look at this post-patch after the season two update. It's now a lot closer to being balanced. Now, unfortunately, our best aim down sight time while tuning these attachments is still the same post-patch compared to pre-patch. However, at least now, when we look at the minimum aim down sight tunes, we're only losing 30 milliseconds to our aim down sight time instead of 125. So this was actually a very significant change, and it looks like tuning's not going to be hurting you nearly as much if you're going to be tuning away from aim down sight speed on multiple attachments. And I was actually really happy to see this, and I'm already feeling like I may be playing around with tuning a bit more often now. But after that, let's have a look at a different tuning value, and this is damage range on the Lockman 556 with the 15.9 inch wrap barrel. And we're looking at our five shot kill potential range here. And as you can see, when the game first launched, without tuning, we would have a 67 meter range with this. And when we tuned in the maximum direction of improving our range, our new range value was 3.6% higher at 69.4 meters. Then after the first buff that we got to tuning, this was a few months back at this point, that was buffed up to a 4.5% increase to our range. And now after the season two buff, the second buff that we got to the tuning here, our new range value is 71.4 meters or a 6.6% improvement. And again, that's nice to see. There is actually a noticeable improvement here when it comes to this. Unfortunately, pre-patch, I didn't do any testing in the opposite direction where I was tuning for the minimum damage range value, so I have nothing to compare it to there. But I can tell you in the game's current state, we'll lose about 3.7% of our range if we tune in the opposite direction away from damage range with this particular setup. So again, it looks like we are actually seeing a noticeable change here and tuning is starting to look more and more attractive. But then let's move on to aim walking movement speed. And with this one pre-patch, I was testing the VEL46 with the commando grip. And let's first look at the previous buff to tuning. And in this case, it turned out nothing had changed. Without tuning, our aim walking movement speed was 3.19 meters per second. And then with maximum tuning in the direction of aim walking movement speed, this would bring it up to 3.28 meters per second. Whereas post-patch, now our base aim walking movement speed is different on the VEL46. Even though I went back through the patch notes, I don't recall ever seeing a stated nerf to the aim walking movement speed. So I did go back and test even without the commando foregrip because maybe they just added a hidden negative to the commando foregrip. And it turns out our base aim walking movement speed actually changed on the VEL46. 
Again, with no mention that I remember or can find at least. So there's an apparent hidden nerf to the Vel 46. However, I still wanted to test our max aim walking movement speed tuning here on the Commando 4 grip. And it turns out it's now 3.29 meters per second, which is very slightly better than our potential was pre-patch. But since our base aim walking movement speed was nerfed with this update, this means we're actually seeing a very significant improvement to our aim walking movement speed now compared to pre-patch. Instead of a 2.8% increase, we're now seeing about a 9.7% increase, which is a massive buff in this area. So there we go, that wraps it up for the spot checks that I was able to do on various tuning elements on different guns and different setups. And I've gotta say, while I was pretty disappointed the last time they tried to buff tuning, where it really didn't seem to change too much, it was really inconsistent, it seems like this time around, they actually made some very noticeable changes to the tuning, at least on a bunch of the attachments. And unlike the previous buff, this is enough that it has convinced me to start playing around with tuning more often than I did previously. I'm definitely going to be a lot less hesitant. A big reason I avoided tuning in the past is basically what we saw with this chart here, where you can only gain a very small amount of positives by tuning in the direction of aim down sight speed in this case. But if we tuned away from that, we were seeing a massive nerf to the gun, essentially. that was nowhere even close to proportional to the benefits that we were receiving. Now that's not to say that you couldn't very carefully tune things in the past to generally improve the setup that you were creating. I was just generally very hesitant to be tuning attachments, partially because the benefits were so minimal that it just felt like a waste of time. Like I didn't feel like tuning was gonna make the difference between winning or losing gunfights very often. But another big reason is there was so much opportunity to hurt your gun more than you were helping your gun if you tuned improperly. And with the lack of advanced stats, which we still don't have access to in the game, it made it very difficult to track exactly what you were doing to your gun when you were moving those sliders around. Whereas now, after the Season 2 update, and now that I've done the testing with this, I'm definitely going to be a lot more open to tuning. Now, I'm still probably going to be fairly lazy, and honestly, I still feel like tuning often won't make enough of a difference between winning or losing a gunfight. But if I'm really trying to fine-tune a setup now, I'm definitely going to be more open to engaging with this tuning system. Now, the thing that would really get me fully on board to tuning is if they did start giving us advanced stats in the menu so we can see exactly what we're doing to our guns. But at this point, I've given up on even asking about this. I think there's no chance this is coming by the time this game's life cycle is over, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. At least tuning is better now than it was previously. And I would definitely encourage you to revisit tuning again if it's something that you haven't really been engaging with up until this point with Modern Warfare 2. And with that, I'm really curious to hear what you guys think about these tuning buffs in the comment section down below. Is this something that you've noticed with Season 2? Have you noticed that when you tune your guns, they're performing a lot better than they were previously? And if you are somebody that was like me and you weren't tuning so much before the Season 2 update, is this going to be enough to now convince you to play around with tuning more often? Just let me know those thoughts down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.